George Mason University is in Northern Virginia. It's a, a fairly young university, about 40 years old. We're now about 34,000 students and growing rapidly. We're very close to the D.C. Capitol, which means that we get students from all over the world. We're a very diverse school, possibly one of the most diverse schools in the country. Bax is a relatively new school. Uh, we were formed to combine physics, uh, astronomy, the computational sciences, and big data sciences. And so we, we have a, a specific goal of trying to encompass all the four basic pillars of modern science into, into one arena. We have several different areas of experimental physics here. Karen Sauer has a magnetic resonance laboratory where she studies the detection of very trace amounts of things like contaminants, compounds that are contrabands or explosives, uh, and she works to really lower the noise level in detection equipment. At the Magnetic uh, Research Laboratory, the main projects are the characterization um, and the detection of substances uh, using something called nuclear quadrupole resonance, as well as to do the detection with uh, atomic magnetometers. Space weather is um, a, a phrase that we use to encompass the variability that we see uh, all the way from the sun to the earth, uh, a lot like variability we see in the Earth's atmosphere. The primary application of my research is involving what happens to communication satellites and electrical systems on Earth as a re result of space weather. The technologies that we use are primarily dealing with computation, uh, both the simulation of large-scale systems and also dealing with uh, large-scale databases and statistical analysis of, of those databases to make discoveries about uh, different things that are happening in the plasma environment. Computational Fluid Dynamics, CFD. Uh, this group studies the flow of fluids around objects. Uh, for example, the flow of uh, water around ships or around submarines, or the flow of air around the space shuttle. Um, one of the, the more interesting areas in, in, in that group is the flow of blood uh, around the heart and in the brain during aneurysms. We develop uh, patient-specific computational models of brain aneurysms, of blood flow in brain aneurysms. And we use these models in order to conduct computational experiments and relate the results of those experiments to clinical observations that can help us identify which are the mechanisms responsible for the formation, growth, and rupture of these aneurysms. We have several different areas of astrophysics here. We have a group that studies black holes. We also have uh, one group that studies the interstellar medium and dust. And we uh, have one group that uh, studies uh, black holes in the center of galaxies. With my students, we're studying the application of data science algorithms to the science problems that involve big data. And these data science algorithms include visualization and data mining and other techniques like that. The main application of big data research is to discover new patterns, new trends, and new correlations in large data sets, primarily to make new discoveries in science that are exposed to the application of large data. Astrophysics of galaxies is a huge area. It borders on the, the largest of the sciences, the distribution of matter throughout the entire universe. Uh, there, there are numerous galaxies, as many galaxies as are people that have ever walked on the surface of the Earth. And classifying these galaxies is one of the, the tasks of uh, astroinformatics. I study supermassive black holes in galaxy centers. So we now know that in the centers of galaxies, including our own, lies a supermassive black hole. And it, its mass can be anywhere from a million times the mass of the sun to up to a billion times the mass of the sun. And nobody knows what they're doing there and what effect they're going to have on the galaxy's evolution and how they formed. And so. Um, the central goal of my research is to understand the formation of these supermassive black holes and how they're connected to galaxy evolution. My education at SPACS has been beneficial because we have a really great faculty and the teaching is really high quality and there's lots and lots of research opportunities for graduate students. One of the nice things about uh, pursuing graduate studies here at SPACS is that it's been very interdisciplinary and given me a very good balance of computational skills and also a rigorous understanding of physics and astronomy. So it's been a really nice combination. The future of SPACs uh, 
looks pretty bright. This, this interdisciplinary um, uh, focus, I think, is what excites me. And, and that and, and the creative nature of the faculty and the students that we have here.